Today's video is brought to you by OrchidSupplyStore.com. They have everything you need for your orchid hobby, but not just your orchid hobby, but for house plants as well. Take a look at these beautiful, awesome, very sturdy plastic pots. For viewers and subscribers, if you enter the coupon code Danny, D-A-N-N-I, you will receive 12% off and there is free shipping. Hello everyone, welcome to the greenhouse and welcome to the channel. It's Danny. I'm happy you're here. Thanks for clicking. I thought I would sit down in front of the camera with my coffee and chat with you guys a bit about where I'm at on my orchid growing journey. And that is, I am really struggling with novelty summer blooming phalaenopsis. I really like to be transparent with you guys, show you the good, the beautiful, and the bad, and the ugly. And I was in my Facebook group, Beginner Orchid Enthusiast. Anybody's welcome to join. You don't have to be a beginner by any means. But I was in that group the other day, and someone in there said, Danny, I haven't seen you do an orchid haul in a long while. What's up? What's going on? And I said, yeah, I'm really sick of the novelty fowls. I'm struggling with them for some reason. So I don't, I haven't been ordering them because when I'm gonna order orchids online, it's gonna be orchids that I don't have access to in Northern Ohio. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. The rotting is, is on a mass, pretty massive scale. The rotting's on a pretty mass, that was a cakey. It just rotted away on me. Um, this one here, this is the same exact one I just showed you, just a bigger, just a bigger plant. And at first, this orchid really took a liking to this setup I had it in. And now, within the last month, this one is beginning to rot pretty darn quick and also with this one every single leaf tip is turning black and I could literally show you orchids for an hour that do not look good that are just the I mean they're rotting the roots are just rotting on me horribly and so I said, yeah, I haven't ordered in quite a while because I'm really struggling. And I said, why would I want to order these beautiful novelty phalaenopsis? I mean, they're beautiful, don't get me wrong. But then I could go to the grocery store and find something like this for $9. And I haven't even repotted this thing yet. You can see the plug in it. And so I've kind of came to the realization that I might just be the, the grower that does well with these hybrids. But then I kind of battle myself with that because I've just started struggling with these novelty fowls. Something is happening. So I will repot all of them into new media again. I might try some of them in a bark moss mixture, not just a straight moss mixture, but look at this guy, three spikes on this dude. Three spikes on this guy. Let me show you something else. Here is a really great example, I think anyways. So both of these are in the exact same setup. Okay, exact same setup. This is a cakey from a no ID white Phalaenopsis. Look at those roots. Look how beautiful those leaves are. Now, this is a cakey of Phalaenopsis equestrius cerulea form. I cannot keep leaves on it. The leaves continue to just turn yellow. This one's starting to yellow and it'll be down to two. I don't, can you see the black spotting popping up on it? So, yeah, I think this is a really great example. I know the species, the species fowls are quite a bit more finicky. They want their environment kind of spot on and just right. 
but this is uh, you guys are getting a little ridiculous for me <laughs> but I love sharing the craziness and just what I am going through on this orchid journey with you guys so let me know how your novelty fowls are doing down below or your big hybrid your miniature hybrids I don't know let me know which one's your favorite by the way because I think I have a good guess on what it's gonna be anywho happy growing everyone stay safe till next time